is up? Welcome to Every Single Guitars, where the goal of this channel is to review every single guitar ever made. Today I have an interesting guitar to review, and possibly this might be the cheapest guitar that I've ever reviewed on this channel. I forget the exact price points of all the guitars that I review, but I know that the cheapest guitar that I've reviewed up till this date has been a $40 Davison Les Paul Standard that I picked up a couple months back. Even though the guitar brand new wasn't 40 bucks, I think it's like a little over 150, maybe 200. The price I got it for was 40 bucks and that's pretty cheap. But today I bought a guitar that I got for even less than 40 bucks. And that is this guitar right here. Today I have a Laguna LE50 electric guitar. This guitar I got for 30 bucks, which makes it the cheapest guitar I've ever bought by far. 40 bucks is cheap, 30 bucks is pretty damn cheap. And I call this an interesting electric because this is not a standard size guitar. This is actually a short scale. I believe the term is junior scale or a three fourth scale guitar. And just by me placing this guitar on my lap, I can immediately tell that this is not a standard size electric guitar. So first impression of this guitar, this is actually the first mini electric guitar I've ever owned or ever bought. Surprisingly, the build quality quality on this I say is very very good which is actually kind of blowing my mind because like I said I've I don't know much about this brand but I know that they're not an expensive brand they're you know an affordable kind of like a Squire maybe a tier lower than Squire you know and Squire is an affordable guitar but basically a cheap affordable guitar I'd say that for a guitar that's marketed as a cheap guitar this is probably better than a entry level Squire actually in terms of just the build quality i don't know what wood they used and i'm sure it's not a high quality wood it may be bass wood basswood some kind of variation of that but the body of this guitar feels very high quality it feels very firm this is actually some ibanez's that i've owned you know that kind of build quality the body finish is black but it's not a solid black it's like a matte black type of feel the neck quality is also pretty high um, I have to say you know for a hundred dollar guitar brand new around that range I mean this does not feel like a hundred dollar guitar when when people talk about junior guitars like three-fourth guitars a lot of people categorize it as a cheap entry-level beginner guitar usually that is the case for for many if you're just starting out and you're a kid and you're not you know, fully developed yet, fully grown. It's hard to play a standard size guitar because it's big. But for this, beginner level or not, I mean, this can easily be a backup guitar or a practice guitar. You know, if you're a professional musician and you just want a fun guitar to practice and play around with, dude, this is a very good buy to do that. And I'm actually curious if that was what it was marketed for. Very simple setup, three-way selector switch, bridge, middle, and neck, one tone and one volume knob. Basically like a Telecaster. Telecaster also has two knobs and three-way selector switch. The biggest difference from a Tele and this is the pickups. I don't know what pickups they use, but they use two humbucking pickups. Just from a sound standpoint, dude, this does not sound like a hundred dollar guitar. This sounds better than some Squires, you know, some $300 or $400 Squires. I'm also gonna do a tone review of this guitar, you know, mic'd up to show you what it sounds like. But if you watch this tone video blindfolded and not knowing what it was, you could not tell that this is a hundred dollar guitar. That's how good this guitar sounds. Usually for cheap guitars, for affordable guitars, the lowest quality part is the tuners. And even though these tuners aren't you know, the highest quality tuners I've ever seen. I'd say that these tuners are still pretty damn good stock. You know, usually for cheaper guitars like Squires, I do have some issues with the tuners, like in terms of stability and going out of tune. This guitar, you know, I haven't played it for hours, but from the 30, 40 minutes I played it, it stayed in tune perfectly, perfectly fine. That was very surprising to me because I thought for a cheaper guitar, you know, there would be some tuning issues, but nothing of that sort for this. This particular electric but since this guitar is a smaller size guitar when you're playing it everything just feels so much easier to play because the guitar is literally just shrunk 
So let me show you how this guitar sounds so you can have a better idea of the tone. So overall, it's pretty damn good sounding guitar for 100 bucks. For me, I got it for 30 bucks. Either way, for a sub 120, 150 dollar guitar, I've never, like I said, I've never really known about this brand. I don't know much about them, but hey man, for my first impression of a Laguna, I'd say that this is a very good first impression indeed build quality for a 120 dollar guitar build i probably give this an 8.5 which is very high just to make things clear when i review my guitars an 8.5 for a 100 dollar guitar is not the same as an 8.5 for a $3,000 guitar. My reviews and ratings, I always base it on the price points. So for a $100 guitar, 8.5 to me is a very comfortable rating I give for this guitar. Tone, I give this an 8 out of 10. Very good sounding guitar. Clean channel sounds excellent. Like I said, I'm confused and I'm kind of curious what they did to these pickups, but these do not sound like cheap pickups whatsoever and i feel like the amp also plays a large part and the amp i'm using is a princeton reverb which you know sounds pretty damn good but still you know like i said on a blind test you will not be able to tell if this is a hundred dollar or a cheap guitar so if you're looking for a travel size guitar a mini size guitar or just a fun guitar to play around and practice dude maybe check this out the laguna le50 super light too like i can like just it's like a toy almost, but a quality sounding toy. 